Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing well. In today's video, I'm gonna walk you through how I whipped up this delectable strawberry cheesecake using fresh strawberries from my very own backyard, along with a perfectly paired sour blackberry syrup using blackberries that are on the cusp of perfect ripeness and give them a really unique sour flavor that only blackberry growers really get to appreciate. All right, it's time to dive into the recipe, so let's get into it. All right, so like I said last week, this tart recipe will be sort of a borrowed version of the lemon tart. So click on the card pop up right here if you guys missed that. Uh, but this will be made with a few different twists. For starters, I'm making a much smaller tart shell using the same pine nut tart dough and the procedure is essentially the same. Push, mold, and form the tart shell using your fingers until the edges are fully enclosed and the bottom has a relatively even thickness. This will bake for about 15 minutes in a 375 degree oven until it is dark golden brown from edge to edge. Since there's going to be quite a bit of tart dough left over, I thought it would be a great idea to make a spiced crumble to go around the strawberry for the graham cracker-like flavor. Simply break up the tart dough into small little chunks and add in some ground cloves, ground cinnamon, and some granulated sugar. Then give this a good mix until all the little crumbles are coated and baked for 15 minutes in the same 375 degree oven. At this point in the baking process, it's a great idea to push down any of the tart shell that's bubbling up to make sure that the bottom doesn't split down the line. Okay, so now it is time to make the filling. So first up, you're gonna crack your whole egg and egg yolk into a mixing bowl. Add in the sugar along with the vanilla extract, then you're gonna give it a good whisk until it's frothy. After that, put the bowl over a pot of boiling water and constantly whisk until the mixture becomes thick and forms thick ribbons when you drizzle it over itself. Once the custard is done, you're gonna slowly and vigorously whip in the cream cheese until it is fully absorbed and super creamy. As soon as the filling is ready, you're gonna pour it into the tart shell until it's about even with the top of the rim, then transfer it to the fridge to set it for about an hour and a half. Alrighty, so next up is the strawberry topping. So get a small pan on low to medium heat, then add in the sour blackberries, then the sugar and water, and you're gonna cook this for about seven minutes or so until it has thickened up into a beautiful red syrup. While you're waiting for it to thicken, you're gonna slice up the strawberries as you see fit, then pour the blackberry syrup right over the top of the cut strawberries and give it a good toss. At this point, everything should be ready to go. So you're gonna grab your mini cheesecake and begin to assemble it, starting with the strawberry topping and of course a generous helping of the spiced crumble around the edges to finish. And that's it, strawberry cheesecake with a spiced crumble topping.
All right, so the strawberry cheesecake is done. This was a joy to make. I love making new creations, especially when they're uh, miniature like this. It brings me back to my you know, pastry days and a few kitchens that I worked at. I love being able to make something slightly more elegant than um, it is normally presented, you know, bulk, big cheesecakes. Um, just aren't as, they're beautiful, but there's just, just a little different flair to it when it's a, a tart form. Anyways, I really love the aesthetic of this tart. Got the little crumbly texture on the outside, which I love. It represents crispy um, and texture. Obviously, I've taken a little bite out of it for my outro piece, and it is quite spectacular. So let me dive into this tart and tell you guys how I did. Oh, yeah. A little bit smaller, otherwise I'll be chewing. Okay, so the first thing you get is a very silky smooth, creamy, custard-like cheesecake, um, the filling aspect of it. And of course, it's very crunchy. The outside, um, it's sort of that caramelized tart has that crispy snap to it as well. Just slightly flaky. And of course, that graham cracker-like crumble around the edges. Just very satisfying, all the complimenting flavors. And of course, the strawberries with the blackberry syrup I mean, that is um, just such a great idea. I love utilizing even some of the things that are out of season, like my blackberries are just coming into season. They turned red maybe a day or two ago and they're turning um, darker every day. And I have a hard time not just picking them off the bush and eating the sour blackberries. So I thought it was a good idea. I had some strawberries ready to go, make some blackberry syrup, toss them in the strawberries. Just a fun way to utilize the garden. Mm. So good. Very good, uh, solid cheesecake mini tart. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big uh, like. Subscribe to my channel if you guys enjoy what I do here. Please click that notification bell so that I always pop up in your feed if you guys like what I do and you like the food that I make and you guys kind of glean something from it. Make sure you check the description box down below for equipment links and ingredient lists for this recipe. And I'll see you guys next time with another recipe. Later, folks.